These are the top five countries leading the world in tackling plastic pollution of our oceans. Antigua and Barbuda's score was impressive, meaning the country is releasing by far the least amount of plastic into the oceans. Minister for the Environment, Honorable Samalwin Joseph, is unsurprisingly pleased. It shows when you have a forward-looking government um, that is able to formulate a policy taking into consideration the benefits to the citizenry and also taking into consideration the fact that even though small, you can be an example and a force in the global community. The minister says the sea change started with the banning of single-use plastic shopping bags in 2016, a policy which he says faced significant pushback. And there were some people who felt that it was an impossibility to eliminate uh, single-use plastic bags out of the environment. As a matter of fact, it went as far as a senior civil servant went public and said bluntly, and, and it became a bit personal, that the minister doesn't know what he's doing. Samalwin praised the supermarket operators and other stakeholders who supported the initiative. Another crucial step has been the Plastic Waste-Free Initiative, which is now in a new phase. We had a pause in the program. We ran out of funding. Uh, we have to get the funding replenished. People were not putting their plastics in the environment. They were keeping them until we were ready. So in one week, 64,000 bottles. And I want to publicly express my appreciation for these mothers and the children. And one of the things that um, has uh, taken off right. is that the school children are very involved in the collection of bottles. Going forward, the minister says the aim is to have a plastic recycling plant in Antigua and the Barbuda. Three acres of land has already been earmarked for this in the Casada Gardens area. However, even before this facility is constructed, the government wants to start with an interim solution. We are going to be moving into an existing factory shell and use it in the interim. So if we were to get the equipment, say within the next six months, we should be able to um, start that process of recycling in Antigua and Barbuda. And the timeline for this interim arrangement, six to nine months, according to the minister. He says the ministry aims to mainstream recycling and upcycling into the national psyche. The minister wants everyone to embrace this brave new world of sustainability, with Antigua and Barbuda being avant-garde.